from Jack O' Lantern to Farmhouse Beauty. Keep watching. You're going to need a Dollar Tree Jack O' Lantern here. He's just made with tinsel. We're going to peel off his paper face. And then we're going to begin to remove all of this tinsel. It is wound and it is a kind of a pain to get all of this stuff off, but I think it's worth it. Just going to clip the pieces and then pull it loose. You can save some of this tinsel if you want to use it for another project for, I don't know, next year, or perhaps use it on your Christmas or your Halloween tree for this year. So there, there are ways that you can maintain some of this, but if not, just cut it and pull it off of there. We're going to start with a blank canvas. What you're left with is that little frame. I'm going to take a burlap bag that I got from the thrift store and just cut out a piece. Make sure it's the right size for my pumpkin. Then I'm just going to begin to wrap it to get an idea where it needs to be. Just using my clamps from Dollar Tree to hold those little pieces in place before I trim off the excess. You want to be sure you have enough that overlaps so that you can glue that to the frame. Because burlap is kind of a slightly stiff, I guess you could say, using the clamps will help hold that in place to keep it from trying to roll back up and pick back up off that frame. And just hold it in place for a few minutes and then it'll be all set and you're good to go. So here is your pumpkin. Now you're going to take a variety of ribbon. These came from Dollar Tree. This particular one is pretty heavily wired and it has some hollow spots. It does not want to lay flat, so it makes the perfect, perfect ribbon for this project. Just going to take some hot glue and allow it to do its thing, kind of curve in there, to mimic the curves of a pumpkin. This is neutral, so to me this is perfect for farmhouse, and I think it would look great for Thanksgiving. I'm going to go up here, and I was just feeling with my fingers to see where the original ridge is, because I want to put it on that high spot, that higher ridge. But you can do it any way you want to. So there we go again, curving. Be sure to be careful, these have these, uh, this particular ribbon has a bunch of little hollow spots or holes in it, so you want to be sure that you're protecting your fingers when you are using hot glue. Just trim off the excess. And one more piece of this ribbon down the center. And again, each one of these ribbons are on the high parts of that wreath form. You can see there the ridges. Okay, and so I'm going to start wrapping to get an idea of what I want to do for my stem. You can use jute cord. This is cotton cord from Dollar Tree that I chose to use because it matches the lighter color in that ribbon that I just used but you can use any type of ribbon, you can use the nautical rope, you can use regular jute, whatever you choose on that, on that stem. You could even wrap it with fabric if you wanted to. Okay, so in order to keep this from sliding off the end, I'm just going to use a little bit of glue to hold that end piece down. And that's just a little rubber spatula. If you don't use glue along the way, you didn't get it to see that when I was wrapping it, but if you don't use some glue along the way, it's gonna try to slide off of that plastic. So just be sure that you do that. Here's another ribbon that I chose from Dollar Tree. This is really cute. This is gonna look good for Christmas too, I think. Put that in the center of the other ones. So now my pumpkin has all of its little stripes. Now I think a bow would be perfect. So I'm just playing around here to see which bow I want to use to make my pumpkin. 
and I'm gonna go with this. This is so simple. You've seen me make this in other videos. You're just gonna make a loop and then glue the end down. So you're gonna have one loop that is bigger than the other loop. And there will be two pieces and then you'll make a separate tail for that. Also, I've made a shoelace bow over there with my coordinating ribbon. And I have it ready to go right on top. All right, so since I'm using a strip of burlap rather than ribbon to do this, there are lots of holes in burlap. If you press this down onto itself, it's gonna glue flat. So you don't wanna do that. You can see me putting some glue on there, rolling it over, putting my spatula under it, and then patting that down. Be sure you use your little fingertip protectors. Don't do it like I just did. Okay, so we're gonna put the smaller one on top of the larger loop. And then I'm just gonna get the right size for my shoelace bow. I want it to be, its loops to be a little bit smaller than what we already have there because I want each one to, it's gonna be stacked. I want each little layer to show. So the bottom layer is the longest, and then the next layer, and then I'm just, well, apparently I'm pulling off the little frays that are coming loose from the burlap. Okay, so now I know what I want. I'm gonna take just a piece of jute, and I'm gonna tie a double knot right in the center of these little burlap um, circles that I made. Do not want it to come undone. And make sure that you have enough burlap that you can tie that around the stem. And now all I'm doing is taking another piece of the burlap scrap there. All of that came from that same bag. And just folding it in the center with a little gap in between so that my, both of my little pieces of the tails will show. And I'm going to tie that first one on. You could leave it if you just wanted that one on there. You could certainly do that. Pulling down the tails on this bow to make sure that it is small enough, see there, to go right in the middle. I don't want it to overwhelm what's behind it. I want it to be stacked. Just going to use a laundry clamp that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to cut a slight angle in that ribbon. Just going to hold that in place there with that clamp. Now we're going to make the little, the little curly stem that sticks up from the pumpkins. You know, the little tendrils that come off of a pumpkin. So when you cut this wire jute that I got from Dollar Tree, of course, when you cut it, it'll start to come loose from the wire. So if you take a dot of glue and your fingertip protectors and you twist that in the way that it is already wound on that wire, it'll seal the ends so you don't have to worry about it unraveling. So I'm just gonna take a length of this and I probably took about maybe seven inches of that and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end Gonna put a little glue right down in that fray against the wire and then twist it in the direction that it's already wound. And I'm just twisting it with my fingers. And now both of my ends are sealed and it won't come loose. If you don't, you're gonna have a mess. It's gonna come loose on you for certain. I'm gonna take this pin and just wind this around here. You can use a pin, you can use a dowel, you can use the end of your scissors or pliers, whatever you want to do to shape that and then find a little place behind the bow to tuck it and glue it in. And then once you do that, your pumpkin is finished. If you want to hang it, you can hang it from the little pieces in the back where it's wired. You can hang it from the string that you have there or you can just prop it up against the wall or against, you know, any surface that you want. And you have the perfect farmhouse Thanksgiving decoration piece.
that's nice. I strayed away from my normal rustic coloring to show you how to do this in a neutral farmhouse version. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.